It's your girl Tink Marche back with another commentary video on the Sakiana situation. I just want to give my two cents about the topic at hand. Building up this channel. So I do need you to subscribe, like, and share and comment on the video and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i drop these goddamn videos so let's get to it so by now you have seen and heard about the sikiana situation but if you haven't sikiana is a rapper and she was on a podcast recently or some sort of um show with looks like little duval and funny mike and a rapper by oak uh yk orias I may be saying his name wrong, but anywho, he walked up behind her and decided to kiss her in the mouth. Sukiana has been a target for this type of behavior for men for a while now because before this, she was on Candy Burris. Um, I forget the name of her show. What is it? Candy Coded Nights? She was on Candy Burris' show, and this guy was constantly making disgusting remarks. He wanted to take her in the back and look at it. Um, I think he said he wanted to smell her cuckoo. And then he also showed a picture of himself to her. Very uncomfortable, right? Very hard to watch, especially the candy burrs. I mean, we know that she was kissed, but both situations was equally uncomfortable. The conversation that's being had right now that I just cannot stand and it's really bothering me is the fact that people are trying to now victim blame Sukiana. The narrative that's being painted is the fact that people don't understand the artist from the actual person or the persona of her sexiness and um, her provocative ways and lyrics and, and songs that she write and say. But my thing is, we are grown. We know kids aren't, aren't I would hope kids aren't, aren't listening to her music, but we are grown and we understand how this thing goes. And if you don't, then something is wrong with you mentally. I hate to even put her in this, but Beyonce has made sexual content before and music i've never i'm not gonna say i've never but i'm sure you wouldn't have walked up to her and kissed her in the mouth right His damn thought was this man just got out of his chair or wherever he came from grabbed her by her cheeks and tried to stick his tongue in her mouth right what if she had some kind of disease she couldn't get rid of i understand the points that's trying that's being made about the situation but Right is right and wrong is wrong. If you don't have common sense to know that people don't want to be touched or that you, that you have to be um, given the okay to go in for a kiss, let alone touch me, but a kiss in the mouth, something is seriously wrong with you. And my final thought was this man or these dudes, in my opinion, probably listened to this woman music over and over again and probably got off on it. And thought, well, my next, the next time I see her, I'm going to do whatever I want because this is what she said in her lyrics. And it's like, y'all watch porn and I'm sure you're not going to walk up to Pinky and say some weird stuff or kiss her in the mouth. Like, come on, man. Waiting on Candy Burst to respond. But it don't matter how you all spend this. The, the, the guy was insane for doing that. And I just think anybody who would even make an excuse for something like that is mentally warped too. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm off. Anyways, I want to hear back from you all. Go ahead, like, share, and comment. See you later. Bye.